Welcome to Coffee and a Chat. I don't know about you guys, it's like I almost want to say, welcome family, back to another Coffee and a Chat, because I really get to start feeling like, um, in a strange way, for it being something here, I need to adjust this, for it to be something where you're doing it over a video that's posting and people are watching it, I still get to feeling like I'm really connecting with some of you. Um, and, I, and I start feeling like we're family. <laughs> But uh, as I connect with you through different comments that, that uh, get left for me and then the emails, I've been getting more emails privately and people just kind of tell me, you know, what's going on in their life. And yes, yeah, see, Gail, I know I do this all the time. I tell you, when you start filming yourself, you start going, ah, and I'm always doing this and then <laughs> it's like, ah, <laughs> who am I? But anyway. I, I'm always thinking about, now I do this a lot, but um, anyway, as I've been getting these different comments from you guys and the emails and all, I realize that there's a lot of people going through some hard things. I've got, and I love this, that I've got several people that are like, can you put me on your prayer list? Is there room for me on your prayer list? Can you handle one more <laughs> on your prayer list? Do you think you could do a full 40 days for me on your prayer list? And and uh, maybe you could do two 40 days you know, stretches, give me 80 or, um, but, and it's always a yes, you're on the prayer list. And when I, um, I am just not happy with this camera today. Okay. When I, uh, read these comments, I'm realizing that there's a lot of people going through stuff right now. And I suppose in some ways, you know, I've got some things I'm going through too, but they, it just doesn't seem like anything compared to, to what some of you are going through. And even some of my, my, uh, my personal friends, you know, I get phone calls. I've, I had, you know, I've had probably four or five phone calls in the last three days from people that are, they're, they're going through some stuff. And, um, you know, I sat down with a friend the other day that lives pretty isolated. I don't think she really, uh, has much company or gets to really have many people to talk to. She's she's kind of a lonely shut-in. And so I was able to spend some time with her. And, you know, she just, she just needed somebody to listen to her. In fact, most of them, of the people that have been talking to me, the ones that have called or whatever that I know and can interact in real time, they need somebody to listen to them. And I know there's times when I go through things and all I need is somebody to listen to me. But I also know that, that they, you know, different ones have said, I really don't want to bother you. I, you know, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have taken up so much of your time or, you know, you probably don't want to hear all the, the stuff I'm going through and you probably have enough troubles of your own. And guys, I understand that because I'm a person that, has tended in the past, and I'm going to say tended in the past because I'm trying to be different about this, okay? This is one of the things I'm trying to improve in my life. But, you know, I've been somebody that doesn't really want people to know, you know, what a mess I am or how much something's bothering me or upsetting me. And and I, I try to keep it all in and deal with it myself. And I'm just going to pray about it because prayer should be enough. And, and then eventually it gets to where it's more than I can handle and it's at the exploding out of the closet point. It's so overloaded. And then the first person that will listen to me gets an earful and a half of my woes. So that's not, I don't believe the way we're supposed to do it. Um, I did a video here not too long ago on created for intimacy that, that we were created for intimacy to know and be known, to love and be loved. And, you know, a lot of that is because that's the relationship God wants to have with us. But we also need that with each other. And you might have a ton of friends. You might be one of those people, you know, that I had a daughter that, oh my word, when, when she had a birthday party, you know, the whole school came or, you know, I, I chaperoned at a skating party, party for her once um, from school. And it's like my daughter's in the middle of all these kids around her. You know, she just had, everybody was her friend. And, 
yet when you have a ton of friends like that, they're not all your close intimates. They're, most of those friendships tend to be really casual. And when you hit a point where you're really hurting and you're really going through some things, you need a close intimate. You need that friend that you can trust. I've got several friends, but I only have maybe two or three that I would really trust enough to tell them my deepest, darkest secrets and know it's not going anywhere and I'm not going to be judged and it's not going to shock them and they're still going to love me. You know, you've got to have that person, at least one that, you know, I can be real with this person. I can let my hair down and let, let it all hang out. As they used to say, I can just be me. And if I need to blow snot bubbles, I can blow snot bubbles and, you know, which is when you're crying really hard for those of you that don't know, but, um, we need those people in our lives. And it made me think about a story. (laughs) Can you believe it? So there was this, this young woman that I knew and so she and her husband and they had a, a little boy. It was like, I think he was probably about eight years old at the time. And anyway, they had gone for, um, they were going to go on this nature walk where they lived. There was this, it was actually kind of a swampy area, but it had all this, you know, turtles and bunny rabbits and all kinds of of wildlife that you could see in there when you were trying, probably some snakes too. I don't like, but um, there was a walking path that that would go through this and you know and then it little signs that would tell you what different plants were and stuff it was so it was a nature hike and her husband really wanted to go do this and so he said come on let's just let's go do it you know it was like a saturday afternoon or something and and she was like well you know i don't know and cuz she just always felt like the klutz and like she never did anything right and he's like look it's a paved path it's not like we're going to go hiking in the wilderness it's paved it's level it's got signs along the way it's not no mountain climbing or you know climbing over rocks or logs or anything it's just a really nice paved nature path so she thought well okay let's go so they got their son together and, and he was all excited about going, oh, mommy, we're going to go do this. And daddy says they have that and that we'll see some animals. And he just was really excited. And and so when they first got there, it's like there was some, you know, there was a pond before you went into the actual area and there were all these ducks there. And, you know, so they stopped and fed the ducks. And then they started on the nature path and saw some little bunny rabbits and some turtles and frogs and, you know, and, and her son was just, you know, eight years, a eight year old boy. That's, you know, it was a dream come true for him. And, and so he was just loving it and he kept running up ahead and they'd have to call him back. And, you know, he was just having so much fun. And she's like, this is a really nice, you know, and she and her husband hadn't, you know, just, had some time to just be quiet together and, and just enjoy each other's company. And, and, uh, she thought, you know what, this is nice. We needed this. This is good. And so they walked on. Well, they came to a part in the path where it kind of dipped down and there had been a lot of rain recently. And so the swamp was running over the path for quite a, quite a long distance. And so she was like, Oh dear. Well, somebody had been there before them. And they had taken rocks that were like maybe this big, if that, and they had placed them, you know, like a step apart, but a pretty big step, she said, where you had, for her, she was a little shorter. She would really have to stretch for it. And so they put these rocks down and then there was like a two by four that they'd laid down that you could walk across and, and some more rocks and, you know, to get to the other side. And she was looking at, and she's like, oh, I don't, I, I, I don't think I can do that. Like, I don't think I can keep balanced on the rocks. And I, that two by four reminds me of balance beams <laughs> when I was in school and I only fell off those. So I, I don't, I don't know. And she told her husband, I think maybe we should turn back. And he was like, oh, okay. Well, as they're having this discussion, you know, cause he's like going, are you sure? Cause I think you can make it. And she's like, I don't, I think I'm going to fall in. And, and it's not that it was super deep or anything, but swamp water is disgusting. <laughs> and she was picturing herself falling into this swamp water because she just wasn't good at balance and doing things like this, never had been. And so as they're discussing this, 
their son just skips from rock to rock to rock, runs across the two by four, hits the next couple of rocks, and he's on the other side yelling, come on, mommy, it's easy, you can do it. And she looked at him, she's like, oh my word, he's already to the other side. And her husband said, you know, it would be nice if we could get across this because then when it finishes, it comes back out where we start. It's not like we have to turn around and come back here. It's a loop. And so, you know, it would be really nice if we, if we could actually do this. And he goes, you wouldn't have to go across this again. And, you know, she's like, oh, I just, I don't know. And she's just kind of, you know, starting to have some anxiety attacks. And, and he was like, look, I'll help you. I'll, I'll be behind you and I'll help you whenever you need help and help you balance and you can hold on to me or whatever. And let's just see if we can do it. And then her son's calling to him. It's okay, mommy. It's not very deep. It's just, you know, if you know, he had, cause he had slipped off one of the rocks. Like, I just got the bottom of my foot wet. That's all. And it's okay, mommy. It'll be okay. And so with her son calling to her on the other side and her husband trying to assure her that he would hold her up and help her not fall. She decides she'd go ahead and do it. So he goes, okay. So she steps up on, you know, puts her first foot up on the one rock and then she reaches with her foot to the other rock and then she stops and her husband's what's, what's wrong. She goes, I can't move. I can't go forward. I can't go backward. My legs are too far apart and I think I'm going to fall. And so he goes, well, I got you. And so he stepped up behind her and just kind of gave her a little boost. And she was able then to hit the next rock. And so she, she said she, she went across these rocks kind of leaning backwards with him balancing her and trying to stretch out to hit. I, I'm sure it was a sight to see, but somehow she got across them. And then she got to the two by four. And very close, carefully with her husband, you know, holding her hand. And because it wasn't, she said it wasn't a super long two by four. And then her son calling to her. She was able to get across that. Then she had to hit two more rocks and she made it. And she got to the other side and everything was okay. She said she did get splashed on a little, but it was no big deal. And she goes, you know, when I got to the other side, it's like, that wasn't that bad. Now she tried to do alone. She said she never would have made it. But with her son cheering her on and her husband balancing her and letting her lean on him. She said, I did it. And I was like, okay. And she said, you know, if I did have to turn around and do it again, I was willing to try it again because I was like, I can do this. You know, it looked impossible to me when I approached it, but I can do this as long as I have somebody there with me. And I was thinking about this story today because she had said, you know, it's like in life when, you know, we come across struggles. Yeah, we do. And we, if we try to go through those struggles on our own, a lot of times that's not going to work. We need somebody who's gone ahead of us and already done it. That's going to cheer us on that. You can do this. You can do it. I did it. You can do it. And then you got to have somebody that's also going to walk alongside of you or behind you and help give you that support and that extra boost when you need it. And she goes, when we have the right people around us, we can we can do things we didn't know we could do. And so I was thinking about that today. So all you guys out there that are going through something right now, don't try to do it alone. And, you know, and those of you that have called me recently, um, that are my, you know, that are people that I know, my friends, and, you know, and you've been all worried, you don't want to take up my time, whatever, you guys, that's why I'm here. And every single one of you has been there for me when I've needed you. So if you need to call me, if you need extra support, call me. Okay. And, and when I need extra support, I'm going to call you. So there, <laughs> but know who those people are in your life that you can trust. And if you're one of those people, and I've been one of these people when there was nobody around me and I really was alone, and I was like, you know, had to go to uh, the vet today to take our dog in. No big deal. It was, it was our puppy and he needed some shots and, and it was just a, a well puppy check and everything, everything was great. And ev everything was actually better than great. He was such a good boy. I was so proud of him. But when, you know, we went in, they want you to put down, you know, your number, your spouse's number, and then they want a third party in case of emergency, if there's an emergency with, you know, with your pet, who can they call? And my husband and I sat there and looked at each other like, I don't, we don't really have a third party 
that we could call in case, you know, somebody could call in case of emergency with one of our pets. And, you know, it's like we hadn't even thought about that. Now, I know as I'm saying that, I know different friends of mine here are going to be going, well, you you could put me down or what. We did work it out and, and who to put down. You know, God kind of worked that out for us. But for a moment there, we're like, a third person? We don't have a third person. And a lot of times in our life, we don't. It's just Marvin and I. And we, whatever we got to deal with, we've got to deal with it. We don't always have that huge support system. And, and it's not anybody's fault or anything. It's just, that's how life is. And so um, you might be one of those where you don't have that, you don't have that in case of emergency person and you're feeling very alone. Well, I'm telling you that ask God about it. Ask him to show to show you who who can be your person or if you really don't have a person because see we figured out we really did have a person we just it didn't occur to us right away but if you really don't have a person ask him for one because he'll bring you a person he'll bring you two persons if you need or three he when it says that my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory That means everything. So when you need another person and you were created for intimacy, you were created to be in relationship, you were created to need and be needed by another person, he will provide. He's our Jehovah Jireh. He is the God who, the Lord who provides for us because Jehovah really is Lord. So he is the Lord who provides for us. Okay. So That's my, that's my thought today, because I know so many of you are going through and some of you, I, I don't even, my heart goes out to you so much because I can't even imagine how you're getting through some of the things you're getting through. There's some huge heartbreaks, but I want each of you to know that have contacted me in any way lately, whether you know me or don't know me, or I know you or don't know you, whether it's been through email, a message or, you know, a comment in the comments of a video or if it's been a phone call or whatever it's been, I am praying for you most sincerely. In fact, I've, I've been working on a commitment with God that I am making myself get up before the sun. And so far we're, you know, it's been several days now and and I'm making it, it's hard because I'm very tired, but I'm getting up even before the sun so that I can immediately just before the day even gets started, before that sun comes up over the ocean, right over there, that's that's where it is. Okay, so before that sun comes up, ah, now you'll know which coast I live in. Yep, think about it. Okay, so, <laughs> so before that sun even comes up in the morning, I'm in here, in this chair, right here in this spot, because I'm still working over there, on my new spot that's going to be awesome and but it's going to take some time and it is taking some time but this I come right here and I sit here and I pull out the word of God and I ask God to speak to my heart and I and I read in his word and I feed my my spirit and my soul and I take my prayer journal and I am being even more in depth in my praying for for people and um, just really asking God to help me grow and be stronger and more mature in him and to just keep moving forward. From this moment on, I just keep moving forward in God. I don't want to waste any more time and I want to be as close to him. And I don't think you never get to a closeness with God and then you can't get any closer. I think we can always get closer no matter how close we get. It's eternal. And that's awesome. So just keep me moving closer to you, Lord. Keep me moving closer. All right. I want you guys to be encouraged. And I hope that even though maybe you're going through some stuff, that you still have a really great day today. And that you trust God to meet your needs because he's He's the answer. And then, um, yeah, I'll be here again tomorrow. And I'll talk to you then. All right. Bye, guys.